Hey Aquarius, I'm here to do a um just a, a overview on your everyday life and love reading. So it's just a mix of energies. So Aquarius, I have at the I have at the um <clears throat> excuse me, I got a cold. I have against the wall commitment reversed, family room reversed, healing higher um high honor reversed. I have dreams reversed, and then I have community reversed. So, Aquarius, I feel like you could have recently left the household. Some of y'all could have been living with um, maybe a friend or some family members, but I feel like you left those people or you left the home um, due to you not getting along with them. Or it could have just been a significant lover that you was in a relationship with, but somebody left because they had a hard time getting along with these individuals that they were living with. Some of y'all was dealing with people who just did not respect you. They devalued you, you know, and they just did not honor you and accept you where you was where you was at. So y'all was dealing with somebody who just did completely, you know, or people that just completely did not respect you and did not look up to you. You was dealing with some toxic individuals that you had in your life so I feel like after you left this home or after you left these people it could be just friends and family in general but I just feel like after you left because due to the amount of disrespect that you was getting from these people and you just feel like there was no way for you to even communicate with them, I feel like you just no longer you know think about these people anymore due to the lack of support that you was getting from them from them because we got the dreams reversed and then we got community reversed so, yeah, I just felt like at first it was weighing heavily consciously on your mind a lot, but I just felt like you just decided to just release these people from your life and release these people from your thoughts, you know, because you realized how shady these people was towards you. But um, we got intuition reversed, wisdom triumph, and then we got obstacles and challenges reversed. So... I feel like you had a hard time listening to your intuition about moving in another direction because I just feel like you've been brushing things under the rug for a very long time, you know, about these people or this person, you know, and you, it, I just felt like for a minute you just was only, like you was having a hard time accepting the simple fact that these people was not, you know, for your highest good. And you've been brushing it up to the side for a while to let go of these people. But I do see you with this triumph card, you know, moving away from these people, moving on in general, because you realize how toxic these individuals that you was dealing with or this person, if it's a lover, you know, is. So I feel like you moving on, you moving away, and um, you just focusing on yourself, you just focus on your happiness, you know, some of y'all could actually be focused on trying to get a job, maybe you could have had a hard time trying to get a job, you know, or could have had a hard time if you had a business, maybe you could have had a hard time in your business, but I feel like things going to start looking a lot better now and start smoothing out in your life. Some of y'all could, um, could have lost out on a lot of finances dealing with this person or dealing with these people because we got material and spiritual prosperity reverse. So I feel like, yeah, you lost out on a lot of finances due to other people and their selfishness and their ways, you know. And um I just feel like now you <clears throat> just putting those these people to rest and, you know, you just focus on your own sex own happiness, focus on your own victories, focus on your own success. And I feel like you being all about you with that um, destiny card right there. You're ending, you're ending cycles. You completing cycles. You ending relationships, and I feel like you just had a um. You had to take a look at yourself. You had to take a look, you know. You had to take a look at yourself. You had to just keep things. You had to keep things real and be, you know, real with yourself, period. And I feel like some of y'all could have been in a grieving state for a minute, too, in secret and not let, allowing these people to know how you really feel about them, you know. But I feel like I said, you move in another direction. Some of y'all could actually move in another city or another state, maybe up north, 
Um, if you are in a relationship, maybe you could be, you know, moving out of town with somebody that you could be in a relationship with, you know, and just leaving your family behind due to the lack of respect that they was giving you, not valuing you, you know, not honoring you. But yeah, I just feel like you decided to take a step back and focus on yourself, focus on your own happiness, your success, your growth, your healing. I feel like you're healing yourself now. And, um, you know, like I said, you all about yourself with this world right here. You focusing on yourself. I'm also hearing somebody could be a stripper. Maybe you could be back and forth, you know, stripping a lot. Maybe that was the way of you making your money. And maybe if you was living with friends and family, maybe you had to give them money or whatever. But it seems like that did not work out right due to the people, you know, <clears throat> You know, being selfish, wanting more money, wanting more from you. And I just feel like you could have been having a hard time taking care of yourself. But this is for somebody, but not everybody, that message. But, yeah, I just feel like now you're just nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself. Some of y'all could actually be getting a Medicare, a pedicure. You know, you could be getting your hair done. And, you know, buying new clothes. You know, just looking real nice, looking real good, and just focus on yourself. And, um... Some of y'all could have actually ended a relationship with somebody that was the father or the mother of your child. I'm also seeing that due to them having you in um, a third party. But I feel like the air has been cleared and you just decided to leave this person alone and just focus on yourself because you no longer see a commitment with this person. You know, you no longer you know, want to invest in a situation anymore. You feel like the whole situation is just dead, it's done, and it's over with. And I feel like you're cutting people off or you cut this person off because we got triumph success. And I just feel like people that you cut off or this person you cut off could be, you know, quite unhappy that you did that. But I feel like now it's all about you. Now it's all about, you know, planting your own seeds and just focusing on yourself. I feel like things could be a bit slow right now in the financial department, but, you know, I feel like you are making some sort of progress moving forward. Now, there is somebody in your energy that could be having a hard time moving away from, from you. Like I said, it could be the father or the mother of your children. If you do have children with these people, don't have to be, but or this person. But, yeah, I feel like y'all dealing with somebody who is heavily assessed, or, assessed over you. And um, I feel like they just don't want you to go. But you feel like you got to leave because due to the lack of balance that y'all have and the lack of love that you was receiving in this relationship, some of y'all just feel like y'all person never really appreciated you. And you making it, you putting this whole situation in the rest. Some of y'all could actually get be getting a lot more sleep ever since you left this individual, meditating, praying a lot, you know, just getting yourself back in an alignment. But um, I feel like before you had you was fearful of leaving this person or these people behind your friends your family members you know but I feel like you're no longer afraid to leave I feel like you could be avoiding them because I like I said you all about you now you all about your the long term you all about your finances your stability and um yeah because y'all was just dealing with shady people or just people who just did not respect you in general and I feel like now it's getting to the point that you starting to see things for what it really is and you know you bringing you bringing a you see basically you see everything clear as day now you no longer in the dark about nothing you know but yeah I just feel like you no longer thinking about these people or you're going to get to the point where you're no longer thinking about these people and you're heading out you're moving on and I feel like you trust in yourself you trust in your spirit guides and you know you trust in the universe you know on this journey because I just feel like you was dealing with people who was calling you to be unstable some of y'all like I said could have lost a lot of finances dealing with these people or this person caused you to be unstable some of y'all could have been dealing with people who had a lot of drug addictions alcohol addictions you know smoking addiction gambling addiction it could have been anything or just could have been you Aquarius maybe you was having a lot of addictions and then I just feel like you are letting go of these addictions but um yeah, I just feel like you making change. You moving on now. You heading in another direction. And um yeah, you leaving people behind. Courtship reversed. You leaving this these people or this person you was involved with in love behind. You know, because you're not making these people a priority or you just feel like these people never really made you a priority. Maybe you feel like you had to leave this person behind because maybe they had a third party. It could have been a mistress. If you was married to this person, maybe 
you know, your person had an affair on you. But I just feel like now you're not making these people in a priority no more. You're moving on. You're ending cycles and you're just focusing on yourself right now. You know, and I feel like you were stuck. Like I said, you was at the beginning, you were stuck for a while, but I feel like you no longer stuck. You see things clear as day. Some of y'all just don't even want to be in a relationship right now. Y'all just want to focus on yourself because I feel like y'all been dealing with a lot of immature people in the past, you know, and I just feel like you know what you want, you know what you're going after, and you're going to go get it, period. You know, you putting a nail on the coffin now with this coffin card. You putting a nail in a coffin now. You dead. In, you dead in situations. You dead in cycles. You you getting rid of addictions. You getting rid of any and everybody that's trying to hold you back. That's trying to take from you. That's slowing you down. That's slowing your progress. You just letting these people go. But you do have somebody in the back of your mind, or somebody could be thinking about you, fantasizing about you. And this could be somebody you blocked because we got message reversed. So I do feel like this is somebody else's energy. I feel like you got somebody thinking about you that could be wanting to reach out to you, but you got them blocked. You know, and yeah, because. Like I said, if you was married to this person, somebody you could you could have been married to, but I feel like there is gonna be some sort of um, you know, divorce happening in your relationship. But other than that, if it's not somebody you was married to, like, you know, this person could be wanting to, you know, come back in and, you know, clear something up with you. Maybe they could be telling you that they have grown up now, they mature now, they only grown man or they grown woman stuff, you know. But, yeah, this is somebody you don't even think about anymore because we got message of concern reversed. This is somebody you've been left a long time ago. You know, this is somebody you could have, um, you could have met at work. Don't have to be. But I just feel like now you're just focusing on yourself. You ain't thinking about nobody but your damn self right now, you know. But, yeah, I just feel like this is what's going on in your life right now. I hope this resonates with somebody out there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I thank y'all for watching. Y'all stay blessed.